a little over a century ago. The beautiful boat behind me first took to the waters of Okanagan Lake. Of course, it's the SS Sycamus, the fantastic sternwheeler that is here in Penticton. And it's been beautifully restored by a dedicated team of volunteers. And they, they are determined to preserve this important piece of history. And, and today's show, we're going to get a taste of that history. Well, quite literally, because we're going to go on board for a tea party. Now, if you've been listening, you've heard the fantastic piano music in the background. That's Anne Lou here who's been uh, gracing us with her skills. So what's it like playing a piano on board the Sycamore? Um, it's a very great opportunity because there's a lot of people here. So it's a good chance for all performing artists to sort of practice with an audience. And also, I like the feel here because it's very antique and it's a very different feel from the usual piano playing. We almost didn't get tea. We didn't uh, reserve. And when we arrived at what, 10 past 2 or quarter past 2, I guess the place was almost full. And your name, please? Well, um, I don't see it here. Oh, what well, were we supposed to reserve? Well, um, it's very busy today. It seems very but, busy. Mm -hmm. But. There's two leftover scones and some tea. If you'll settle for that, you can come in. <laughs> so here we are. And you got the in the private state room here. Absolutely. They told us to go to the ladies salon to a glass table and my brother is treating me today. The Sycamus has been a fixture in Penticton for a oh, long, yes. long time. Oh yes, and it was a fixture in my mother's life because she was living in Kelowna and when she and my father were courting, um, because the road from out past Summerland into Kelowna you remember Dave, Dad always said, if I get in the wrong rut, I never get to Kelowna. <laughs> so my mother would, she'd come down and visit her grandparents and Dad, too. Oh, just you, happened to be Dad. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so Mom would, would come down on the Sycamoose, and she'd also make sure she got down to the Sycamoose stop to mail the letters All right. to her beau, her boyfriend. So, And they met because... Dad was, he was rooming with my mother's aunt. Oh, okay. So, so, so without the Sycamus, you might not be here. Well, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. All so. right, well, thanks for talking to us. Okay. Enjoy your tea. Thank you. I'm gonna see if I can scare up a cup now. Yeah, well, yes, there's a little bit left in the pot. I think they might have some in the kitchen. I'll go stick uh, my head around the corner. Yes, then you get a whole cup. <laughs> Well, now we've, we've actually found a place to sit and a spare couple of cups and some tea. We're talking to Jesse Dunlop, uh, organizer of this event. Looks like you've got a great turnout here. Yeah, we're fully booked today. We've got over 40 people sat having tea and scones. And, and it's, you just can't really beat that, the opulent splendor of that big room with everybody in it there, the, the woodwork and everything. Yeah, the Sycamus is, it was designed for luxury and it's just a, a beautiful room and it's great to be able to see people in there and enjoying it. It's really get to, great to see it busy and just how it used to be in the good old days. Obviously, uh, there's a big interest in this kind of activity on board. Uh, what other kind of things have you got going on? Well, we have lots of weddings on board. We also have the 101st anniversary of the boat in May and we're going to be doing um, a children's pirate themed birthday party to celebrate the boat and just lots of little events and we've got wine tastings and all sorts going on. So there's a, there's a website people can check for, for all the information? Yeah, they can check the website which is www.sssikamoose.ca or you can have a look on the Facebook page as well. What is it about the Sikamoose that inspires you to work so hard? I love working on board the Sycamus because it's just it's such a fun place to work and you're doing something different every day and you get to feel like you're you're working towards something important, something that's bigger than yourself. And the Sycamus is one of the largest surviving sternwheelers in British Columbia and so it's really important just to have people learning about it and understanding and to ensure that it's protected for future generations. And it's, and, and to see that it's more than just like a dry museum you can you can get involved because because you've got another tea coming up and people miss this one and this looks like fun and, and, and it is a great time uh, they, there's another one coming up 
Yeah, we've got another high tea that's going to be happening on February, Saturday 28th. So it's the last, last day in February and it's going to be just like this one, only better. <laughs> and you've got to make reservations, right? Because uh, it fills up. Yeah, we, we booked out. We've fully booked this time, so if you wanna you wanna come, you make sure you you've got to make sure that you call us ahead of time and just get your name on the list. Okay, so can we we can have some tea now? Yeah. I'll let you pour because I don't know how good I can do that. Do, do, do you clink our cups? Is that all right? Is that yeah, okay. permitted? We can, yeah. We're careful because they're antiques. All right. Marvelous. Well, thanks so much for the tea and taking the time to sit down and talk to us. I know you've got a busy event to run, so we won't hold you up too much longer. But at least we can enjoy our tea for a moment, right? Yes. All right. That's it for a go. I'm Doug Brown. We'll see you next time.